Hi, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. What about you? I am fine. Thank you. Do you have a good Monday? Uh, yes, I was. I was a good Monday. It's correct. So it was? I say. Yes, it was a good Monday. Okay. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. So you weren't able to get in class the last Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Were you in the traffic? Yes, uh, I lost my, my class. I don't remember. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. Yes, the traffic and the and the rain. Yeah, so I think that yes, yeah, so it was only one student and <laughs> yes, and then another one I almost by that. the end. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it was kind of complicated on Friday, but fortunately, um, you were able to. Uh, connect today. So what we did on Friday, let's see, we finished the section number four and about the section number two, we just started watching the video and um, let's share the video. So I don't know if there's going to be more people here. No sé si se van a lograr conectar más, but uh, yeah. We have to continue with the program. So I'm going to share the screen so that we can watch the video to start in this section. It starts with the statements with the past of B. And let me share some and we're going to watch the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh. So you weren't born in the U.S.? No. I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No. My English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. 
Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Let's first start by practicing the conversation. And this is uh, what you already listen in the platform. So, are you able to see my screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio and allow you some time for you to repeat at home. And then we are going to practice in pairs. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, do you have any question about this vocabulary or maybe pronunciation? Um, I only in the question that Chuck asked to Melissa, do you go to the college right away? Right um, away? Right it's away? Like a, uh -huh. It's como verdad o cierto. Uh, o cuando no. la pregunta. It's similar in meaning as said immediately. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yes, she said that, uh, le está preguntando si fue a la universidad inmediatamente cuando llegó um, a Estados Unidos. Did you oh, go okay. to college right away? So the expression okay. right away es como decir de inmediato. Yes, no mm, mismo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any okay. other question? Any other question? Like, uh, let's see. Uh, 
Any other question about vocabulary, any expression or pronunciation? No. Not for me. No. Okay, so I see that we have Angelica, Salvador, Luis, and Gustavo. So um, I'm going to play the recording once again, and then you're going to take turns to practice. Page 100, exercise two, conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, now that we listen to this conversation for the second time, let's see if we have volunteers um, to start role-playing the conversation. Would that be Angelica and Gustavo? Okay. 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 okay uh, Angelica, where were you born, Angelica? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, you, well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is, is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, now let's change. Angelica, you can start. Okay. Where were you born, Gustavo? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So. I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, excellent job with pronunciation. I just heard uh, kind of like in this one, en la palabra de Corea, esa E se pronuncia más bien como I, Korea. Korea. Yeah. Excellent. Korea. Okay. And Korea. then, excellent. Well done. 
Now let's listen to Luis in the Salvador. Can you practice with Luis? O está ocupadito. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm Chuck. El Salvador. Quizás está ocupado Salvador. Sí, quizás sí. Okay, a uh, volunteer to practice with Luis. Mm, me teacher. Okay, thank oh. you, Gustavo. Mm. Okay, I'm Chuck. Uh, where mm. where are you born, uh, Gustavo? I I was born in South Korea. Oh, so so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 2000, 2005. Mm. You were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Okay, well done. Excellent. <laughs> and good that you applied the corrections. So, excellent. Now, Angelica, would you be Chuck and Luis Melissa? Okay. okay. Where were you born, Luis? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in uh, 2005. Um, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right away? <clears throat> no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was more here. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> well done. So I see that there is no problem here with this and pronunciation is really good. So we can continue. So let me share in the presentation again. This is it. And we already practiced the conversation. And about the grammar focus with the past of B, se nos decía eh, la estructura de cómo formar las oraciones con el pasado del B. Y también de una vez se nos explicó acerca de las yes, no questions. So let's go there. And we, here we are with the past of B. So we're going to listen and you can repeat at home. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Past of B. I was born here. I wasn't born in the UK. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe. They were born in Chile. They weren't born in Peru. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your first teacher American? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were your parents born in the U.S.? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Bien, entonces, acerca de la gramática, pues se nos explicaba la estructura de las oraciones y también de las preguntas. 
Para hacer un review, decíamos que en oraciones afirmativas vamos a colocar primero el sujeto, luego el pasado del verbo be según le corresponda, ya sea was o were, y luego un complemento. Para las oraciones negativas, decía que nada más vamos a agregar la palabra not después de was y were. La estructura es básicamente la misma, solo que agregamos la palabra not después de was y were. Eh, ¿Qué contractado eh, was not es wasn't y were not weren't? Ahora, con respecto a las preguntas... Eh, Yes, no questions, decía la estructura que primero vamos a poner was o were, dependiendo de cuál sea el sujeto. Luego de was o were, vamos a poner el sujeto y luego algún complemento y cerramos el signo de pregunta. Para responder, siempre vamos a utilizar el sujeto más was o were y si es negativo, pues siempre sujeto. Eh, más wasn't o weren't y tenemos acá el ejemplo si alguien me pregunta were you in class yesterday y mi respuesta es afirmativa yo tendré que decir yes I was si es negativa yo diría no I wasn't y así pues van jugando con el sujeto aquí el sujeto es your first teacher que pues podría ser un él o ella, ¿verdad? Aquí se nos eh, dice, yes, she was, or no, she wasn't. Acá vemos, el sujeto son tus padres. Were your parents in the, born in the U.S.? Y al ser un plural, los padres, yes, they were. Entonces, siempre vamos a incluir el yes or no, luego el sujeto y luego la forma del verbo be ya sea afirmativa o negativa. No sé si hay preguntas hasta acá o está todo claro. Ok, si no hay preguntas, entonces pasaríamos al ejercicio que está, pues igual se está en la presentación, que es completar eh, este pequeño párrafo where it says Melissa is talking about her family choose the correct verb forms and then compare with a partner ahí tenemos las formas del verbo vamos a escoger la correcta dependiendo de cómo vaya el párrafo lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno y les voy a dar unos minutos para que lo completen
finished. Not yet. I finish. Okay, would you like to share your answers? Okay. Uh, 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 I start in my family and I were and I was worthy. My family and I was uh, my family and I were all born in, in South Korea. We was we weren't. We weren't. We weren't born in the US. I was born in the city of Incheon. And my brother was born there too. My parents weren't born in Incheon. They were born in the capital, Seoul, in Seoul. In, in, Seoul. in South Korea, my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much, Liz. Okay. Now, uh, to continue practicing this, we are going to write a short paragraph similar to this one, and then we are going to share with the class. So I can say, for example, my brothers and, and I, mm -hmm. my brothers and I were born in San Salvador but my parents weren't born here. They were born in San Miguel. Okay. Okay. For example, un pequeño ejemplo así. And I can say my father was an engineer and my mother was a dressmaker. Un párrafo chiquito. I'll okay. give you five minutes. How do you teacher? How do you say the city? In the in the example, Incheon. Uh huh. Incheon. Incheon. Incheon.
Okay, a uh, volunteer. Who would like to start? Quien quisiera comenzar para compartir? Me. Okay, thank you so much, Luis. Uh, it's, it's short. <laughs> my father, my family and I were all born in La Paz. My parents, my parents were born in San Vicente, in the city of San Vicente. In San Salvador, my father was a doctor and my mother was a nurse. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, Luis. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, my father and my mother were born in San Juan Opico. I wasn't born in San Juan Opico. I was born in Santa Tecla. And my sister born in San Salvador. My father was a driver and my mother was a nurse. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, Marvin. Okay. Thanks. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Gustavo. Okay. My family and I uh, were, were born in El Salvador. We weren't born. No, let me see. Yeah, I confused. Okay, I was I was born in the San Salvador, and my brother born there too. My parents, my parents weren't born in San Salvador. My mother, my mother was born in Chalatenango and my father was born in San Salvador. Uh, my father was a technician, telecommunication, and my mother, uh, my mother was a, no, my mother has a bakery or was a bakery. Oh, she was a baker. Baker, yes. Uh -huh, she was a baker. Uh -huh, bakery is a lugar como tal, el negocio. El, el, ah, okay. El lugar decir, es... tenía, tenía una, una panadería. Ah, entonces my mother had, had, a, had bakery. a bakery. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. O oh, podría ser que ella, si era que le pertenecía, ay, se tramó esta cosa. Eh, podría <laughs> ser my mother. Oh, no. Was a bakery and had a bakery. No, it was a baker. My mother owned a bakery. Uh, ella te, okay. fue la dueña o propietaria de una panadería. My mother owned a bakery. Uh, she was a baker. Ella okay. era, ella era o ella fue panadera. Okay. She was a baker. Nice, nice. I love sweet bread. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Gustavo. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Angelica. Um, my brother, sister, and I were all born in San Salvador. We born in we were in born. Salvador. We born in the El Salvador. <laughs> in El Salvador, okay. And my father was born in La Unión. And my mother was born in Santa Ana. Um, he, he, he was a teacher and she was a lawyer. Nice, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Is anybody else, Salvador? Okay, maybe Salvador is not free now. 
So we will continue with this exercise and I'm going to give you some time for you to, to answer these questions that we have here. Uh, we're going to answer this based on what is on the picture. So we have eight questions. The first one is, was Adam on time for class yesterday? So looking at the picture, you see that Mrs. Carter has already been writing on the board. So that indicates that uh, Adam was not on time. So what would be the answer to question number one? Was Adam on time for class yesterday? No. No. Luego el sujeto, no, he. No, he was. No, he wasn't. Okay, no, he wasn't. Vamos a contestar siempre usando eh, lo, el yes o no, luego el sujeto y luego was, wasn't, were or weren't, dependiendo. En este caso, como es negativa la respuesta, diríamos no, he wasn't. Okay, so let's um, answer these questions and we have these characters. Remember, this is Adam, this is Mrs. Carter, Cindy and Mark, and we have to look at the picture before we answer the questions. I'm gonna give you some time for you to write the answers. You can do it in your notebook. Pueden nada más escribir el número y la respuesta number one. Yes, he was. Y así ir con las demás. Y les voy a dar unos cinco minutos. And then okay. we're going to check.
Have you finished? No yet, are you done? Okay, Luis, let's answer question number two. Was it English class? No, it wasn't. Uh, no, it was no, it was no, it wasn't. Uh-huh. No, it wasn't. Uh now Luis, ask Angelica or Gustavo question number three. No, it wasn't. No, pregúntale la tres, ah, ya sea ah, Angélica okay. o Gustavo. Ok, was it a sunny day? Angélica o Gustavo. Angélica. Ok, Angélica. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Eh, it, no, eh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, very good, Angelica. Now ask the question to Gustavo. <laughs> what is 10, Gustavo? Was it 10? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, good, Gustavo. Now you can ask Luis. Luis, was Mr. Carter very angry? Yes, he was. Okay, very good. Mrs. Mrs. Carter, very angry. Yes, she was. And now, uh, Luis, ask the next question. Okay. Where well, Cindy and Mark late the class? Uh, so. Um, Where well, Cindy and Mark? No. No, they, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, good. Now continue, Gustavo. Mm, to Marvin. Okay. Okay. Marvin, were they at the bar? No, they weren't. Oh, perdón. Sí. Yes, they, yes, they were. Yes, they were. Mm. No. Entiendo mm. que dice que si están en la pupitra. En, en la, la pizarra. pizarra. Están, están oh. en la pizarra. Ah, oh, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, continue. Okay. Um, aquí. Salvador. Creo que Salvador quizás está no ocupado. Estaba. No, no ha estado respondiendo. Ok. Bueno, entonces todos. Where the window open? No, it wasn't. 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 Are you sure? ¿Están seguros yeah. que sería no, it wasn't? No, no, it weren't. Because it's plural. It's plural windows. Ah, it's plural. Ajá, pero entonces ya mm. no podemos decir it, hey. ¿verdad? Ah, they. Ajá, exacto. They no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Ajá. Ok. 
Excelente. Recuerden que cuando sea plural, aunque sea un objeto, ya no, pues ya es plural, entonces lo pluralizamos y utilizamos lo que corresponda, si es auxiliar o verbo. En este caso, y si fuera una sola ventana, si fuera una ventana, la pregunta empezaría con was. Uh -huh. Ajá, was the window, sin ese, was the window open? Y ahí sí podríamos decir, yes, it was, o no, it wasn't. Pero como son varias, se convierte en ellas, las ventanas, right? So, were the okay. windows open? Yes, uh -huh. they were, o no, they weren't. En este caso, no, no estaban abiertas, no, they weren't. Uh -huh. Por más que sean objetos, ¿verdad? Aunque sean objetos, pero si es okay. plural, pues ya no utilizamos la regla del que le estemos aplicando a singular. Ok, ok. Ahí estaba la cascarita. Ahí estaba es la esta. cascarita y Esa lo que es. aprendimos. <ríe> <ríe> sí, igual, por ejemplo, um, si fuera eh, la pregunta, igual, recuerden, acaban de ver, creo que en el módulo 1... Y en el 2, vieron el, el, el singular con este, la tercera persona singular cuando estaban viendo el presente simple, ¿verdad? Entonces, es que no puedo compartir porque se trabó. Vale, ok, aquí estamos. Ok, so... Por ejemplo, si estamos a, a, eh, a, haciendo una pregunta, digamos. Um, ok, so estoy preguntando si el pájaro canta, ¿verdad? Does the bird sing? Si fuera afirmativo, yo contestaría yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh -huh. O si fuera negativo, yo diría no, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Ok. Vaya, pero si voy a preguntar en plural... Entonces ya sería do. Do, do the bird. Ajá, uh -huh. do the bird sing. Ok. Entonces ya cambié el auxiliar a do porque estoy hablando en plural. Do the bird sing? Yes, they do. Ok, so. Así es como vamos jugando con esta cuestión de eh, los auxiliares y, y, y verbos y las conjugaciones de que si es eh, persona singular o plural, etc. Eh, ¿Questions so far? No, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok, so let's continue here. Es ya, ya como una pausa para reforzar un poco. Y vamos, eh, pues vimos lo de las preguntas en las yes, no questions. Pero también tenemos las WH questions también con el pasado de B. Let's uh, see that video. Y aquí pues creo que está la estructura también de las WH questions con el pasado de B. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. 
Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years 1906 1917 1999 2001 To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where? Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so ya vimos las dos estructuras en este video. Se resume a que, pues, si es una yes, no question, vamos a colocar primero el verbo, eh, el verbo be conjugado al pasado, ya sea was o were, y luego el su sujeto, subject, luego que va algún complemento, Y al final, pues, ponemos el signo de pregunta. Veamos un ejemplo. Ah, si yo le pregunto, Nacis, eh, uh, ¿estuviste en clase ayer? ¿Cómo me quedaría esa pregunta? Es una yes, no question. ¿Estuviste en clase ayer? El sujeto eres tú, entonces usaría was o were. Where. Where. Uh -huh. Where. Y luego el sujeto que eres tú, were you. Y luego en, en clase yesterday. Ok, so aquí vemos la estructura. Primero está el verb en pasado. En este caso usamos were. El sujeto, it's you. Complement, in class yesterday. Y finally, the question mark. Ahora, esto es una yes, no question. Podemos responder yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Si es una WH question, es fácil. Es la misma estructura, nada más que vamos a poner una WH word al principio. Ok. Y la estructura pues se mantiene. WH word, 
plus was o were plus subject plus complement. Eh, por ejemplo, um, podemos preguntar why were you late for the class? Ok, entonces quiero saber por qué. Entonces la WH word sería why. Luego el pasado de be, en este caso pusimos where, porque el subject, que es lo que viene a continuación, es you. Luego el complement, late for the class. Y finalmente el question mark. Why were you late for the class? Entonces ahí nos pide una explicación. Esto no lo podemos responder con yes or no. Why were you late for class? Uh, because there was traffic in the street. Ya le di la razón. Uh, because there was traffic in the street. And that's basically it for today's class. Entonces nos quedaríamos acá. Thank you for joining. Uh, remember that we just have two classes more and we finish the module. So please complete the platform and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.